Hi Internet! In today's video I want to share with you the latest development updates to Kandu. Kandu is the cross-platform Pi menu which I'm currently developing. In the future you will be able to use Kandu for instance to simulate hotkeys or to open web pages, to launch your applications or you can for instance also use it to access your files. You can already download this uh, prototype version. Um, it comes with a short tutorial here in the sidebar area and it also comes with a menu editor and that's what I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. You can access the menu editor by pressing the gear icon here in the bottom right corner. And yeah, here we go. I've shown the basics of the menu editor in one of the last videos and today I want to share with you the latest updates. So for the very first time, you can create a new menu and add new items to the menu. So this tab here is completely new. Um, you can add one of those four item types here but simply by dragging them up here. So maybe a new submenu, a URL, maybe launch an application, launch another application and simulate a hotkey. And while you can select those items, the menu properties at the right here, they are still not implemented. So you cannot change either the name here or what those items actually do. Um, for this, you will still have to edit the config files. But stay tuned in one of the next updates, we will have this menu properties view here on the right. And then we will have a fully functional menu editor for the very first time. Of course, you can also um, reorder the menu items here, you can use the locks to lock them to a specific um, direction. And you can of course also drag things into sub menus and create nested menus this way. Another update is that the trash tab now supports dragging things from the preview up here down to the trash tab. So I can move those down here in order to delete them. And in a similar fashion also the stash tab works now. So you can also drag things to the stash tab. Let's for instance move the submenu over here. And the main difference between the stash and the trash is that things in the trash will get deleted once you restart Kandu and things in the stash are stored uh, until you use them again. And this is particularly useful if you want to reorganize your menus. So for instance, if you have here in the main menu something, for instance, this apps sub menu here, which you actually want to have in another menu, you can move it to the stash, switch to your other menu, and then move it to that menu. And now we have this apps sub menu in here. All right, let's quickly undo that change. Um, here it is, and I think it was up here. Yeah, I think that's it for now. You can find the link to this prototype in the video's description. Just download it, play around with it and share your thoughts either here on YouTube or on GitHub. And yeah, that being said, I hope you like the current progress and thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.